Hey guys, just want to go over one thing with you guys today, syncing up your OneDrive for business. So, as you did not know, we have a Microsoft OneDrive account, which enables us to basically store up to one terabyte of information, files, documents, videos, whatever it might be, on a Microsoft server somewhere, and that gives us the opportunity to basically have a, a backup, uh, unlimited storage almost, and, and we can really kind of use that to our best advantage when we start looking at that. So what's an important thing for us to do is to get this set up and to do it right. So part of the Microsoft Office that you should have installed on your computer is a program called the Microsoft OneDrive for Business. So it's kind of got a, a cloud with another cloud in front of it because it's cloud storage. They were clever with their logo. Um, you can kind of see uh, it's there. And I already have it up and running, so I'm not going to open it up here um, because it's just going to do that. So if you have your Office 365 OneDrive site, there's a tab on your thing that basically says OneDrive. You click on that, and it pulls up, and, and I've been keeping some things in here um, as part of, of something that, that I have. Um, but basically, there's kind of a different thing. Now, using the web interface can kind of get tiresome. Let's create a new one. It works at times. It, it works at times, I will say. Um, but it's definitely kind of there. You can create a folder as well. Um, you can upload files and choose a file to upload. We'll upload a corp. There it is. It's done. It is now uploaded and I can sync up and make sure everything synced and that's fine too. Now when I click on something like this, I have a couple different options. I have a manage. I can check out the properties. I can edit the properties. I can see who's worked on it. I can download it. I can follow the file if I want to. I can share it with people. Um, or I can click on share and I can invite people that uh, we work with or people that we don't work with and give them that. Um, I can do specific to them. I can create a link that people can can see this file and then create that link and there it is. And I can monitor who sh it's been shared with. So anyone, it's open to anyone with a guest link right now would be the, the way that I have it set. Now I can disable that and it's just private again. You know, I can allow people to edit it as well. Um, so you have a view only and edit as a way to do that for our online storage. Now, the easiest way to do this, because honestly, I use the Microsoft Office on my computer a lot more than I use the Microsoft Office online in Office 365. So you can open up your OneDrive, your two clouds, which I have right here, and it should pull up which library do you want to sync. This is what you copy. You copy the URL of the page in this web browser. You paste it right here. You push sync now and it gets things in order and congratulations, I'm almost synced. Um, and now that I've done that, you know, show me my files. What it's gonna do is it's going to open up a new folder and look, you can see everything's there. It's starting to sync. There's my picture that I just uploaded and that's exactly how you set this up. Powerful tool tons of storage use it as a backup so if you have course class files and you're keeping them on a hard drive or you're, you're transporting them on a flash drive it takes a moment to kind of make a copy of them and paste them into this this one drive and it's going to sync and it's going to be there um, do that every so often protect yourself protect your files from hard drive failure i know we've had a couple in the school so far this year um, it's important that you do this take care of your documents with that, that's kind of it for this video. I just want to show you how to sync up. Now, once it's here, I can open this up. I can drag files. I can I can do whatever I want in this, and I can kind of keep it together. I can put agendas, whatever I need to do, lesson plans, that sort of stuff. Now, this is not where we are storing our videos of our live action class. We're going to be using the Google Drive for those because of a, a security feature that Google Drive has that Office 365 currently does not. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everything you guys do. Enjoy your snow day. Talk to you later.